Our speaker today will be Mr. Christopher Darby. Christopher is a graduate of 71st High School and also a spring of 2012 cum laude honor graduate from Fayetteville State University with studies in business administration and a concentration in entrepreneurship. He is now a full-time graduate student at Fayetteville State University. Not only did he graduate high school, Christopher is the first person in his immediate family to have a college degree. He has been encouraged by many to remain on the path that he is on because of his good character, morals, and commitment to help others. Christopher is involved with various organizations in the community along with working a part-time job. He is involved with the 100 Black Men of America Incorporated. He was the chartering president of the Collegiate 100 chapter at Fable State University in 2011-2012 and now serves as the assistant to the advisor. He is a member of Fayetteville's Young Professionals, a board member of Sandhill Family Heritage Association, a member of Alpha Chi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and a choir member at Refuge Community Church. Christopher's future aspirations are to become a successful business owner, obtain his PhD in business administration with a concentration in entrepreneurship, have many sons, and become a great and righteous father and husband. Students, staff, and guests, I present to you Mr. Christopher Dart. I enjoy it. Um, as spoken earlier, I am Christopher Falante Darden. I'm currently a student at Federal State University. And for the students out there, how many of y'all uh, know where Federal State University is located? Okay. okay, good job, good job. And I was I was impressed to hear how many students here want to go to college. But for the remainder of the students uh, out there, how many of y'all think y'all want to go to college now at the That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't. Honestly, I don't know if I knew what college was in elementary school, so <laughs> that's awesome that y'all know what it is. Um, one of the great memories I still hold till today, when I was a, a junior in college, I was my, my third year of college was when I was first given the title of a, a scholar. And so I joined this program called the Ronald E. McNair Scholar Program. And the title I was given was the McNair Scholar. So when I was first given that title, and still till today, I felt good about myself. You know, I would walk around campus, I would talk differently, I would have different responsibilities, different goals, and just, I was just different overall. But at the time, I, I didn't know what the word scholar meant, and I didn't really understand what the, I didn't really get the definition of what a scholar is until I started writing this speech. And so by definition, a scholar is a person who is very involved in education and in learning. Repeat that one more time. A scholar is a person who is very involved in education and in learning. So unlike me, you all don't have to wait until you're in college to know that you're a scholar. Because every one of you in here should be very involved in education and in learning at the young age that you are now. So as of today, I want you all to understand that you are all scholars. All right? All right? Are you yes? All right, good, 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 good. So, uh, where's my young? All right, so stop this. I just want to make sure stop this is playing. Uh, so what are you? As of today, what are you? A scholar. John, as of today, what are you? Good job, good job, good job. The rest of y'all are scholars as well. All right, so next, now that you know you are a scholar, the next big thing to understand is how to become a leader. But not only how to be a leader, I'm going to take it a step further. I want you all to understand how to be a good and righteous leader. Reason being, as you get older, there will become, there will come many negative influences in your life that will try to see you off the path of the good that you are on. And so what you will need to understand is how to be good and righteous in order to defend yourself against those influences. Um, and to remain a scholar in order to help other people become scholars and good and righteous leaders as well. See, being a good and righteous leader is important not just for you, 
But it would be important for your younger brothers, sisters, cousins, and things of that nature that you may have. Uh, by show of hands, do, do you all have younger brothers, sisters, younger cousins? All right, all right, all right. And so to a certain degree, your younger brothers and sisters and cousins, they look to you for guidance because you're older. And so that means they will follow you and they look to you for guidance, they look to you for advice. So if you're not being a good and righteous leader, you may take them down the wrong path and have them end up being in the wrong situation. Like, how many of you would want to leave your little brother or sister to go to jail? Nobody wants to do that, do they? Or how many of you want to leave your little cousin to be unsuccessful in life? No, 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 not I unsuccessful, unsuccessful, not successful, unsuccessful. I don't think y'all want to do that either. <laughs> All right, so I need you to understand not only to help people in your family, but to help people overall in your life, you need to be a good and righteous people. But I understand that I shouldn't just give you that assignment without first giving you some of the meaning of what a good and righteous leader is. So I'll try to take this moment to give you some information that I have. First, I'm going to start with the definition of a leader. A leader is simply a person that leads people. A leader is simply a person that leads people. So, I want y'all to say that to me, so I'll make sure that y'all say it verbally. It may be a brain a little bit better. Say that. A leader is a person that leads people. Good job, good job. All right, so now let's focus on the next part of the statement. A good and righteous leader. The very important word in that statement is and, because this signifies that you have to do both the good and the righteous in order to complete the assignment. So, what, so for this assignment, you have to be good and righteous. A righteous person can be defined as a person that is upright, moral and virtuous, meaning that you have to have some good standards and good values about yourself and carry yourself in a good way and have good character about yourself. Next. But let's not stop there. Because people can be righteous leaders, but if they are not good at what they are doing, then their followers may start to follow someone else. Good by definition means satisfying in quality, quantity, degree, or of high quality. Meaning that you have to be at least minimum of being a good leader. Or you can have all the righteousness in the world and you will not be able to help lead other people down the right path. Because your communication wasn't good enough, your actions weren't good enough, and your methods weren't good enough. So in order to be a good leader, your communication skills need to be good, your doing and action skills need to be good, your motivating skills need to be good, and you can start today to, to, to develop those skills by using the school, the classroom that you're in, the community that you're in, your home, and etc. to increase your ability. Increasing those abilities will help increase the followers you have and can lead to you being a better leader. So once you understand how to be a good and righteous leader, then apply that, once you understand how to be good and righteous, then apply that to being a leader, then right, and your tomorrow will be so bright. I would expect your tomorrow to be filled with peace, love, happiness, gentleness, long-suffering, temperance, faith, joy, goodness, meekness, temperance, and it gets such there is no loss. So I'm blessed. I truly am blessed, and I'm glad and excited that I've been able to deliver this message to you all. I pray that it does something for you all today and the rest of you tomorrow. Thank you. And just remember, the main point is that you are all scholars as of today, and you have to be good and righteous leaders to help lead yourself, your family, and your communities in the right direction. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Darden, for those inspirational words. At this time, we will now begin the induction.